Hello everyone and welcome back to the Scott Attempts Gaming Channel for a brand new FIFA 23 player career mode video. In today's video we are going to be boxing off our League 1 campaign. As we look at the standings, we are so clear at the top. I think we're 18 points clear at the top of the division. With for, I think there's 10 games left to go. Going to be doing a lot of simulating today and getting this season boxed off. On a personal standpoint, it looks like we are definitely going to be the Golden Boot winner as well. We've got 34 goals in 35 games. Closely followed by Dion Charles, who's got 21 goals in 32 games. Our nearest challenges from there are on 15 goals. That is it. So it goes to show how good me and Dion Charles have been this season. Back to more important matters though, we have got Morecambe at home. They are on 35 points. To be honest with you, it looks like they're really struggling. The 23rd in the league, they've lost 22 games. They've lost the most games of everyone in the entire division. I'm so certain they've simulated this will win it. A 2-1 win against Morecambe looks like it might have been a bit of a frustrating game for the lads. Dion Charles scoring in the 62nd minute and I grabbed the winner on the 66th minute after falling 1-0 behind to Morecambe to be fair. So fair play to Morecambe there but... Three points, all that matters. Just looking at the, the week here, we've got Bristol Rovers and Cheltenham away. I think all these can be simulated. Let's have another look at the standings. The league's won, lads. It's, it's not going to drop 18 points in nine games. A 3-1 away win against Bristol Rovers. We get on the score sheet and a John Daddy Bodvardson brace. Dropped an 8.5 match rate and John Daddy Bodvardson drops a 9.4. So really, really good performance up front by the front men. We're now 20 points clear. Yeah, it's it's so over. The, the league's over. We can start building now for life in the championship. So we now travel to Cheltenham Town. Cheltenham are all, only got 45 points. I'd imagine they're down towards the bottom of the league. Yeah, 16th in the division, which this is a game we should be winning. Can we make it nine points in seven days? I think we can. And we do make it nine points in seven days. 7.4 match rate for myself, back of your court, and Kieran sadly are getting the winning goals. So we've got an activity. Your player of the month. That's the first time that's happened. Uh, the player of the month. There's more to come. It's about the team. Thanks to the fans. I'm going to say it's about the team. You know, I am a team player. I think the team have really, really chipped in with some goals and stuff this season. So yeah, it's all about the team. So a quick look to the calendar will show we have seven league games left. Plymouth, Oxford, Fleetwood, Shrewsbury, Ipswich, Charlton and Wickham. We're going to start, we're going to play this next fixture against Plymouth. Uh, I don't just want to simulate every single game. I do want to play some. Plymouth away, we're going to play it, try and get three points. The league's won, lads. We're so clear at the top. I don't think the results even matter at this point. No way. So if we win this game now, we are the champions of League One. I know everyone knows we're going to win it, but three points here would actually mean we are the champions. So three points here today would be season over and we can simulate the rest of the season. Let's get on the way away at Plymouth. It, are we going to finish these 90 minutes as champions? That's a good start. Dion Charles is in. Oh, he's wasted it. Now, I think the Plymouth game at home ended up being a two-all draw, so hopefully we can get a better result today and secure this league title. Plymouth putting some nice early pressure on, to be fair. It's not going to be... We're not going to have it all our own way, yeah? And they could go 1-0 up, and that's really, really well defended. Spin my man. Gonna get into the area. Might have a shot here. Ah, it's gonna be a corner. Nah, keeper's gonna get there first. That's our first real sight of goal in the 25th minute. Not a lot really happening. And Sheehan wins that. We've got a big chance. Dion's in. And he scores. 1-0. One, One hand on the title now, boys. Dion scores. Win the ball back high. Slip Dion Charles in. It's 1-0. And we are literally holding on. To the trophy with one hand. Lovely little through ball there to play him in. He hits it close to the keeper now. I'd be disappointed if my goalkeeper didn't save that. Who cares? To be honest with you, we've not been the better side, if I'm honest. Listen, this game's nowhere near over. We've really struggled to get it our own half, to be honest. We're going at half-time 1-0 up, but it's been a diabolical game of football. Absolutely no chances at all. Listen, if it stays this way, I will not be asked. I'll just take it. So we're going to get things on the way, and I'm just having a little thought here, set thinking. We, so basically, we're a championship side now. If we do not strengthen in the summer, I think we could have a chance of going down, which would really, really hinder my career mode's progress. And that's a terrible pass, because the team is just it is pretty poor, the team. I know we're top of the league, but I don't think they do well in championship. I think we're going to need investment. Oh, we're in. Lovely ball by Dion. Ah, I'm tackled at the last second. No way. That heavy touch didn't do it for me then, really. Chance to play it in. Have a shot. 2 0. It's 2 0. That's game over, surely. Another assist. Lovely burst down the right hand side. The left hand side, sorry. And Declan John puts into the back of the net. Just laid off on a plate for him. And it's smashed near post. Yeah, keeper's not saving that. Good, good power on the shot. Nice. This is lovely stuff. In front of me, 
Ah, straight at the keeper. That should have gone in. Don't give him a goal, lads. Good chance here for Plymouth. Ennis, it's a terrible header. They, uh, I don't know what they were doing then. Oh, no, no, don't pass it back. Go on, Dion. Goes for a curler. Ah, oh, it's straight at the goalkeeper. That was greedy, that. I should have let him go in and get a second, but... If the Plymouth goal here could make it pretty interesting. That's a great ball, actually. Someone's going to get out to him. It's a great save by the keeper, and he's punched away. Oh, that could be a massive, massive save. See you later. Right, it's my goal. Smash near post, and keeper saves it. Uh, it's just not coming for me today, that goal. Lads, I think that is the trophy won. I think we are the League One champions now. I cannot see Plymouth getting two goals back in the short amount of time. As I said that, though, they do get in behind. Someone's got to get out to him. They've come back in field for some reason. Not really too sure why. Tackle. One minute of added time. We have got two hands on the trophy. Game over. We are the champions of the League One title. Get that celebration in, lad. Thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. We're going to be playing championship football next season. Look at the scenes. Plymouth players are distraught. Bolton players celebrating. So 8.2 match rating with two assists this time. Something a little bit different for me. I'll take that law. Declan John and Dion Charles getting the goals. And Declan John winning the man of the match. As you can see, next to no highlights in this game. Terrible game. But it's a game that will go down in Bolton Wanderers history. The day they won the League One title. Up next, lads, it is Oxford United away. I'm not really too bothered now because I know we've won the league. What I would like, law is the 100-point milestone. So I'm going to simulate this game against Oxford. I trust the lads to get a win. It's the Good Friday fixture, Oxford away. Let's try and get the three points. And it is a 2-1 win away at Oxford United. An 86th-minute winner from Kieran Lee. Kieran, sadly, is sent off in the 17th minute, which makes it all the more impressive. We got an 8.6 match rating and man of the match. We will take that every day of the week. So before we progress on to the next simulated game, we have scored 37 goals in 40 games, an average match rating of 8.1 and 17 assists. That is 54 goal involvements this season in League One. Now, we are 78 rated. We are by far the best player in the division, stats-wise. But our performances have definitely backed it up. Fleetwood Town at home on Easter Monday. 92 points. We need 8 points from the remaining 5 games to hit the 100-point milestone. We're going to simulate this one as well. Fleetwood are in the relegation zone. Drop down to the bottom, yeah. Fleetwood 21st. Actually, Fleetwood could do with the 3 points because that help them stay up. All the teams ahead of Fleetwood have got a game in hand on them. So it's just going to be an interesting game, to be fair. I'm going to simulate it. And a 2-1 win for Bolton. Morley and Johnston getting the goals. And Key and Bagley. Scoring towards the end. We've got a 7.6 match rating. Aaron Morley got the man of the match. Yeah, another good win. We now need only five points to get to the 100-point milestone. Activities. Poor man. What? This is so stupid, this. Poor manager performance. The manager's under pressure now. We've won the league. We're the champions with three games or four games to go. What? What is the issue? I don't understand. Up next, it is Shrewsbury Town away. Bolton manager on borrowed. So hang on, let me have a quick look at this. I have not said that. Well, the champions, what the fuck? This is stupid. Shrewsbury Town, away, Court Lane. Listen, there's four games left. It's going to get simulated. And we lose 2-1. I do get on the score sheet and I get a 7.4 match rating. Listen, the, title, the title's won, lads. We'll, take the, we'll just set the defeat on the chin. We were the better side. Right, so Ipswich Town are second in the, in the division. It looks like they're going to clinch second place. Listen, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to simulate the Ipswich game. And the Charlton game, and I will play the final home game of the season against Wickham to round off the season. A 2-1 win against Ipswich Town, coming from behind. A goal from me on the 62 minutes, and then Dion Charles wins the game later on. Looks like it was a pretty even game. Dion got an 8.1 match rate, and I got an 8.2, and Aaron Morley got a 9.1. What a baller. Winning goal scored, let's talk about it. Show the, everyone the goal, show the congratulations around, push yourself to follow it up. Let's push ourselves to follow it up this time. And we, we always normally talk about the team. Let's go a little bit different this time. Let's talk about ourselves. Right, last away game of the season. The 100-point milestone can be achieved right now if we beat Charlton Athletic. Charlton away, lads. We could get the 100-point milestone right here. I'm going to simulate it before we play the Wickham game. And I'll let you know what score it finished. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We've had an absolute stinker. Jaden Stockley got a brace for Charlton. MJ Williams scoring for us, and I have missed a penalty in the 84th minute and got a six match rating. Not how we wanted to end the season. So we go into the Wickham game, the final game of the season. We need a win to get the 100 point milestone. Charlton Athletic are now in second place. I think 
if Ipswich Town win their fixture, if I'm honest, I'm quite intrigued actually to see who's going to get second place. Ipswich Town are playing against... Who are they playing? Portsmouth. So a very difficult game for Ipswich. If they can win that game, they will finish second and will be promoted alongside us. If they do not win that game, Charlton Athletic have secured second place. So before we jump into the final game of the season, I can uh, put a new perk in. This is the final perk slot. And I'm going to put the distance shooter one back on. I really like that one. That's when I was scoring all my absolute screamers. Six skill points to spend just before we get into the final game of the season and prepare ourselves for championship football. I'm thinking about spending it on an archetype, you know, or an increase to weak foot, maybe. So we've maxed out the ball control. We have now got 91 ball control, 91 dribbling. Uh, I'm going to put some into shooting now, I think. I could put some into weak foot, you know. Tell you what, we're going to put another one into weak foot. We've now got four star weak foot, four star skill moves. Can I put one into... And I'm going to put one into reactions as well. Looking at the actual stats, 72 physical, 36 defending, 88 dribbling, 70 passing, 72 shooting, 87 pace. So we can request... A wage increased yet again. We're going to do it. 14 grand a week. We are the absolute star, man. And we've got coming available. So I can't celebrate my birthday because I've got no money. But a summer break. Away with the friends for a holiday. A holiday with a difference. And then a break with your teammates. We will decide on that when we finish the Wickham game. The day is here, boys. We are playing Wickham Wanderers at home with, with a view to getting 100 league points. I don't know if that's ever been done before in Bolton's history, so it would be pretty cool if we can get it done. We're going into the game as an 80-rated striker. Celebration day at the University of Bolton Stadium. Let's get in there. Let's get the three points. 39 league goals this season. I, I'm expecting the championship to be pretty similar to League One, you know, for me personally, because I'm such a high-rated player. One last game as a League One club at home to Wickham Wanderers. So Wickham Wanderers get us on the way for the final game of the League One season. Yes, it will. Not give a penalty away. Oh, it could be 1-0. What a save. 1-0 Wickham. Really, really poor defending. And we have find ourselves 1-0 down. And the 100-point dream looks like it could be shattering right in front of us. Such a poor goal to concede. He's smashed across the box. Really good save by the goalkeeper. Just falls straight to a striker. I've decided that I'm just going to completely ignore Dion Charles from now on. He just he doesn't make the runs. A wonderful bit of skill. Score that, Dion. Score it. He's missed it. He is a f he's been so, so bad recently. That's a decent ball to Dempsey. I'm back at edge of box. I'll show you how to score. Shoot. Box, shoot. Yes, 1-0. Instant response. Pinball in the penalty area. We have got a little bit lucky there, boys, getting the equaliser. And it's Geffen Jones, of all people, who pulls us back to 1-0. Is the 100-point dream back alive? It's laid off to me. Shot blocked. Another shot blocked. Good defending by Wickham. Just falls to Geffen Jones. He's an empty net to blast the ball into. 100-point dream is back on, boys. So 1-0. Back on the way. Come on, the boys. Let's get another goal here. Gape. <laughs> what a name that is. Dominic Gape. Oh, shit. What a save, Trafford. We have been diabolical today. Oh, skip past him. Oh, my God. Chance. Ah, oh, straight at the goalkeeper. So, an utterly woeful first-half performance is behind us. Hopefully, they can be better in second half. My teammates are just so bad. Come on. Where is Dion Charles? He's not in the box. I've seen you, Dion. I've seen you. I've seen you. Win the game. 2-1. So he finally gets into the penalty area and we can finally score. See, what a difference it makes when your striker actually gets into the box alongside of you. 2-1 up. Excellent counter-attacking goal. Thank you, Dion. Thank you for getting into the box for me. That's rolled across the box. Dion smashes it in. I'm surprised he didn't miss it. 100 points is back on, boys. It's been a bit of a slog. Really good challenge. Oh, you idiots. It, it's too... T oh, my God. What a terrible goal to concede. What an awful, awful goal that is. I've, ju I've just worked so hard to get us 2-1 up, and it's just thrown away like that because of the AI. They're so bad. What, what is he doing there? Like, what is he trying to achieve? It's hit... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's hit it straight at the keeper. Oh, what a save. Terrible touch. Yeah, it's over. We're not getting... At least we've won the league. We're not getting the 100 points. 3-2 to Wickham. Game over. We've lost. We have been an absolute embarrassment in this game. I'm not going to lie. The 100 points is off. We've won the league, though. Shoot! 
Saved! Oh, for God's sake. Only so much you can do, lads. Only so much you can do. Oh, he's ballooned it all but bar. This is the last chance to salvage a draw. We've been absolutely terrible. We don't deserve it. Header, it's car, and it's game over. We've been beaten 3-2. We were an absolute disgrace. Um, so we lost the game in the M3-2 to Wickham. We were absolutely appalling on the day, like, appalling. But look at the bigger picture. We've won the division. We didn't get the 100 points, which is bitterly disappointing. But we have won the division. Let's just watch everyone lift the title, though. Massively deserved. I can't see me, though, though, for some reason. Geffen Jones to lift the trophy for us. Brilliant. Love to see it. League One Champions 2022-2023. Excellent day for the football club and excellent day for ourselves. Excellent scenes around the Uniball. Brilliant scenes. You absolutely love to see it. Yes, look at it. Everyone's loving it. An 8.4 match rating for myself with one assist. So let's have a look at the final standings. We played 46 games this season. We won 29, drawing 11. Losing six, 94 goals scored four, 44 goals conceded, 98 points, an extremely good points total. Just on a personal standpoint, 39 goals in 45 matches. Dion Charles got 25 in 39. Uh, we were absolutely outstanding this season. We were the top goal scorer in the division. We were the top assister in the division with 19 assists. Yeah, on a personal level, an absolutely outstanding season for us. We're going to end it now with, uh, well, your player of the season. Yeah, I'm not surprised. We've been absolutely excellent. No thanks to my teammates. Uh, we'll face a press conference. Sorry for being... I'm being bitter towards my teammates, but that was atrocious against Wickham, honestly. Like, I, I, it's bothered me how bad it was. Holiday away with friends, yes. So we've got some stuff we can do here. A sponsored photo shoot. Let's do it. We've been paid 43 grand and got some personality points. So an excellent, excellent season finishes. We will now progress on into the championship season. What a season, Matt Adestad. Thank you to everyone who's watched all the way through this season. It's been some ride. It has been some ride. So here we are. It is a new season and we have got a new pre-season tournament. In the Champions Trophy, we are in a group with Genoa, Ibiza, Chavez and Empoli. So we go into the championship season, we are 88 overall. I think we would be the highest overall player in the division. But on that note, I'm going to end this episode there. I, like I've said before, thank you so much to everyone who has watched the first season of this career mode. It has been so well received. I think my channel's grown by like 80 subscribers. I'm getting well over 100 views a video. I'm getting well over 10 likes a video as well. I really, really appreciate it all. If you are new around here, please hit the like button and subscribe as it really helps me out. I'll see you back in the next video when we start our life in the pre-season before the championship and potentially play in the first championship game of the season. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.